Boker Tov, we continue with our three-minute daily dose of Torah, um, looking at Hasagat Gavul. And yesterday we talked about in, um, the interpretation that the sages uh, have of this verse as a prohibition against ruinous competition. Competition, And we take it ultimately to mean um, ruinous competition um, that, that's seen as, uh, as, as unethical and, and unacceptable. Um, it's interesting that modern authorities um, indeed don't know what to do with this or have differences of opinion as to how it applies. Um, there are those who take the stance, um, uh, Rav Soloveitchik apparently quoted it amongst others, that in America uh, we don't, uh, the Beitin can will not use these principles. And it's, it's not, apparently he was quoted as having said that in a case that there was a pizza shop that opened near another pizza shop. And uh, and uh, the folks in uh, Teaneck, New Jersey, rabbis at the time, this goes back a long time, uh, discussed this with Epsilon Bechik, and apparently he's, he ruled in favor of, this, of the new entrepreneur, the second one who came in, um, claiming that in America uh, the, the rules of restri- restricting competition uh, halachically um, are, uh, cannot be employed, maybe because Dina de Malchuta Dina, the, the, the ultimately the business laws of this land, um, you know, override, and those become sort of the working rules that we that we work with. Certainly, we want to talk about the moral perspective. It becomes an, you know another story. Um, and, and here we get, we get to the con- we, we we want to ask that question as well. Um, my, my chaver Rabbi uh, Rabbi Howie Jackter uh, discusses some of the uh, contemporary authorities on this. He makes note of the following. I'll read what he says in his article on the topic. Rabbi Moshe Feinstein rules in accordance with the Chatam Tovar. So far, one may not open one may not open a business if it will destroy someone else's livelihood. That's the phrase in the Gemara. Kapasakta le You uh, you are destroying. You are ceasing my livelihood. But Moshe rules that a loss uh, of livelihood is not defined by a loss of one's home or his ability to put food on the table. That's not how we define it. Instead, he claims taking away, that, that would be, he, that's obvious to him. Instead, he claims taking away one's ability to afford as much as, uh, to afford as much as the average person in his socioeconomic class constitutes destroying his livelihood. If you, by dint of your stepping in and comp- setting up a comp- competing um, store or whatever it is in my area and again there's so many elements to how the, at least the Gemara's rules and when this applies neighborhoods not able a stranger not stranger were people coming not am I, am I luring them all these important conversations here but he says that basically when the, that that phrase of the Gemara kapasak means not merely that you're killing me that I'm going to die that I'm going to be thrown out of my house that I can't pay my bills at all but it means if you force me to, 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 to no longer be the to live the life that I've led with everyone else of my, uh, you know, equal standing, um, and that is a much higher bar than has to be read uh, and be met by the second person, right? You have to ensure that I'm not going to knock you out from your ability to live, um, and that uh, not not so simple, right? Um, it, uh, it continues. It should be noted that the cases case addressed by Ramosha also included other reasons to prohibit the new competition, but so it is. Um, so whether or not we're going to we're going to uh, talk about an actionable principle um, in America at this time um, is less relevant in the moral sense about what it means that hey, buddy, what are you doing here? We, we'd say this, of course, to big corporations and and, and uh, stores like Walmart and other places that came in and knocked and knocked out the the mom and pop stores. That's that's in and of itself a value, but an important statement, uh, a lucky conversation. But even just you know, another guy comes in, he say, what do you have to come here for? Right, go go somewhere else. Everyone, Shalom my Yisrael, you do your thing. So whether or not we're going to have a legal protection or not, there's a strong moral statement there, and um, and um, it's not a simple matter for uh, for all of us. Certainly, I will tell you that it's a shifting gears in there. It's already late, running over our time. That uh, there's a value that we should uh, maintain about uh, continuing to to uh to visit the stores that uh could use our support especially in these times it's complicated and i have to admit myself that i've you know taken to amazon and to other uh, online ordering um so that lots of different reasons there but if all things are equal and you have a choice um, you should try to be out and supporting the local the local places so that so that they can survive through this pandemic and beyond that is the total value that we're meant to feel have a great day do the right thing.